Hello, everyone, and thank you very much for tuning in. I, of course, am Rotype, and I'm back here in Cole West. This is Factorio Cities, by the way. And I'm just going to add a radar, actually. I know it's out of the normal grid, but I feel like we're pretty far away. So if you remember, we're way down here. We took this... We took Farrell, we took it down, we made a nice little roundabout here, came in, established our little coal outpost area. We have 3.6 million coal, so that should help us out quite a bit. I've added it to our list here, and actually I do need to rename it. Apologize for the noise, one second. Okay, sorry about that. So this is Coal West 1. It's going to last us quite a while. And as you can see, we have these little <laughs> biter nest guys over here. I thought it would be kind of fun. I mean, probably won't be eventually, but for now, I just kind of built a little wall area to keep them away. I'll turn on the turrets here. You can see these are all turrets, the yellow. And so this is it. We've got it all built. Got the balancer built. Let's collapse this guy. I think it's all ready to go. It's all signaled up. The I fixed my blueprint for the T-junction, so that's now fixed. And we're, uh, what am I doing? Manual driving? No, no, no. We're going to Farl. No path. All right, well, it looks like we got something to work out here. If I turn left, yeah, that seems to be fine. Uh, I do need to clear these guys. I wonder if that was it. Let's let's try this. Let's go, now, to, now go to Farl. Still no path. All right, well, we have something to figure out here. Hopefully... Something just kind of missed. Oh, I remember now. I remember exactly. There's a missed rail on one of the turns. Probably this one up here. Yep, right here. Just kind of slam into the end of the rail. There we go. Now you can take me back to the faro. And I don't want all this junk. Let's see. I guess I don't have too much junk, but wood, rails, real signals. Yeah, okay. So, let's take a look at our map here. We have our coal, and probably even more than that, the radar will help us out. It'll unlock this big area, and we'll be able to hopefully find some more oil. We'll see. But when we get back to base, we're going to have to then consider pretty much oil. I mean, that's going to be after the, the next thing. So, we're probably going right here, I think. We'll probably connect these two into one. And maybe get the coal too while we're there, but yeah, we'll see. So now that we're back, there we go. So we are in place. Let's turn this back to manual just so it doesn't sit there and you never know when it's going to take off somewhere. We do need a coal train. So we have five engine units. I need probably what, about 20 total. So let's go back. I believe I'm still making them. Yep, here we go. So let's see, that will make one, I don't need a far, I'll just need a locomotive, and I need ten more. Unfortunately, engines aren't the greatest thing to be doing cross-map grabbing, because you end up with a weird number. 24. Do I need 25 or do I need 20? I need 20, yeah. So you're always left with these kind of weird numbers left in your inventory, but oh well. I then need to not get run over by the train while I'm doing this. So, uh, okay, there we go. I need one, two, three, because I already have this guy here. Let's pick him up. Need another. You're going to, oh, okay, I need to make a train stop. There we go. We rename this one. Depot-coal. All right, and we'll make it black because it's coal. Coal's black. Two trains. Four wagons. Do need to get some fuel involved, so we'll go there and there, same as over here. Here and, oh, I have no, oops, pushed the wrong button there. Let's see if I can, there, there we go. Your schedule, first of all, your color is going to be black, because you're a coal train. Your schedule will be depot coal until empty. Next, uh, let's see, where is it? Coal West 1 until full. And, you know, we could eventually add some other conditions to take care of weird fringe conditions, but for now, that's fine. Let's see. Do I have a bunch? Yeah, 900. I don't need 900 in there. 600. We have one, one, four, yeah, yeah, plenty, plenty, plenty. Let's go here. Let's dump. I do have something that's burnable that's not wood. Where is it? Here we go. We got this box. 
I want to burn, and these poles I want to burn. More poles I want to burn. Let's get these in here. Poles. Box. Good. Now with power, this will be fine. And you get copied to you. Let's make sure they get loaded up first. But then after that, we can send it off and get our coal running in. Now I'm just going to copy all this because I think this is just fine. This is our quasi-temporary, you know, will do for now. Unloading. I don't want to do it manually, so we'll have the robots. I do need to get some more fast inserters, though. Oh, no, I don't want to be making regular inserters, though. So I know we have some in a box somewhere. Here we go. Oh, we have a ton in a box. So let's make a bunch more. Yep, I don't want to be making green circuits either. Get those from the box. Am I too far over already? Yes, here we go. All right, now we can just make a whole bunch of fast inserters and have this taken care of. Looks like we, number one, don't have any lights up here. So let's get that fixed. Let's put them, we're kind of doing this every other. So this one, then this one, then this one, then this one. And we'll skip to go here and here. This also needs one here and here. Now, what else do we need? We need steel boxes. We have those being made down by the steel. Steel is here. Boxes are here. Good. Fill in those, please. Thank you. We also need still more of these fast inserters. Thank you. Um, you can go on your way. Away with you. Now we have two lines of coal coming off the train. As soon as these are all filled in, looks like they are. Good. So from here, we can go two, down. Now, I don't remember where I put my coal, so I'll have to take a look at the raw bus here. The stone, probably above the stone. If I'm going to guess, it might be the third row. Why are we walking? We can just use the map. Yeah, the row right above the stone. So this is stone one. So there's a two space. We've got space one, space two. And then it'll be one, two, three, four. And we only want the top two at this point. So I'm going to go to a brush of two, uh, go the correct direction, shift to, ah, if I were to push the right button, that would have been a little easier, but oh well. We'll go here, it will show up there. Ooh, this might be a little difficult. Ah, uh, we'll just have to send the stone underneath, that's fine. So that goes here, it lined up correctly. Yes, here to here, and then here to here. Here to here. Let's bring them along. Now, if I remember correctly, I have corners. Oops, oh well. Just have to do it manually. And you guys have to do under. I need some more of them, though. Here to here and here to here. Good. Now coal is on the raw bus as soon as the train comes back. Let's take a look at the train. Just to make sure everything is going properly. You are getting loaded. 1.8k, 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 1.9k. Okay, good. So it's all getting loaded. And there it goes. Excellent. Make sure it just kind of comes along. Yeah. Alright, I'm okay with that. Coal will come along here. Now, again, same as before, we need to make sure to prioritize the coal to the power. So we'll bring this down, and I am going to go ahead and use both lanes, just because I don't want to have to worry about my power situation. And we're out of belt. That's fine. Clear this. So I believe the power turn... Okay, so it's up here is the power turn off. So I'll go up here and grab some more belts, which is here. And I think I'm going to work backwards, actually. I'm going to have this be the power turn off. Now, for now, power can only be one, or it can't. It can be how many as I want, but I'm only going to make it one lane. Because it shouldn't need more. I mean, we only have, whoops, we only have the one column of steam engines. So we shouldn't need that much fuel. It's more of future proofing than anything else at this time. I'll bring this down. So 
switch to the wrong thing. There we go. And hopefully in another minute or two, we will see our coal. Let's see, under bus management, I have light pole, shuffle, splitting, two shuffle, priority split. Actually, yes, this is exactly what I want. I want a priority split. I do need it to be flipped, though. Mirrored. There we go. So now this is a set of priority conditions such that the split is prioritized over everything else. And it will go just like this. So I need to clear out some of this. Now this will, oops, eventually be replaced with other things. But for now, this is what we're going with. There we go. Now this will, like I said, it will prioritize the splitting. It will shuffle everything down and prioritize splitting it off. I should possibly put one of these a shuffle ahead so everything is already prioritized down. And you know what, that's what we're going to do. Just going to take this and stick it there. So as you see, I'll demonstrate with this guy here. This will send it to the bottom. And then this will send it to the bottom and we'll get everything prioritized down. When you bring in a second one, you start to get some leak through because you have extra. And of course, when it backs up, we'll have extra as well. Now I do want to continue to prioritize draining this. So I'm going to go ahead and say, this actually gets split. One half gets dumped here. The other half goes around and dumped there. That way, I mean, it doesn't really matter if it's only this one miner, but... Mm, yeah, all right, that, that's fine. Probably unnecessary, but oh well. Clean up a little bit more of this. Now this guy... Again, I'm trying to prioritize this, so that's fine. We'll go ahead and just bring this down. Looks like we're doing the same thing here, trying to prioritize a little bit of that initial stone that is almost gone. We'll go ahead and we'll stick to that. Just kind of leave that alone for now. That will be done soon enough. And from here, again, I want to prioritize the existing, uh, the existing initial coal. So we're going to clear this. We're going to go under down and I'm just going to ignore this lane actually right now. Oops. Unfortunately, that's the prioritized lane, so I'm going to actually build the only splitter I can. And we'll just do this. And again, that will prioritize things coming from up here, which is actually overflow from the power as well is still kind of coming down there regardless of where it comes from, but again, the goal being clear this patch before anything else. So now we have a nice big kind of solid input of coal. We don't have to worry about power crapping out on us anytime soon. I'm just going to run up here and check on some of these patches as well. We still have a decent amount of copper. It's all backed up. Clean up some more of this. This doesn't need to do this anymore because it's just a single old miner. You know what? We'll just cut it off there. Starting to clean this up. Of course, it's the one on the path <laughs> that's left, but oh well. Clean up all this guy. There. Now here. Come on, robots. There we go. Don't need this. We don't need. Uh, we do need that. Okay. Got this kind of awkward balancer going on. Yeah, this is fine for now. Let's see how we doing on copper. I see copper. So it is going to be the next thing to go, but we have five hours and we're not really running a whole bunch of stuff. I'm not really doing much research research because there's not much more to do. I'm not utilizing follower robots or rockets or anything. Uh, so we're going to deal with the rest of that later. And we don't have that's all for the science packs we have. So no real reason to be researching anything at the moment. We're just going to be drawing uh, something explodes. I don't like that idea. What's exploded? Ah. I was afraid of this. You probably ran out of bullets. 
So I need to greatly increase the amount of ammunition I'm leaving down there. Came from the north, huh? Interesting. I wonder if they came around. Or these guys, maybe they have an exit and came around. Here's your, here they are. Where are you coming from? That's kind of weird. Uh, oops, wrong button. I need to give you lots more ammunition. Here you go, lots. I have, have a whole bunch. So that looks like actually the prime source of attack. Prime, prime direction. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. You have 25. Yeah, let's go ahead and give you 100. You have... Well, let's fill you up as well. And you know what? Uh, you have no kills yet, so... Actually, and just because this has been the prime direction, you get an extra turret. Yeah, all right. That'll be hopefully good enough to kind of stand for a while. The next thing I need to do is make an oil train, I think. Well, I guess technically I need to... I don't even know where they are. <laughs> Use the oil that is here. There they are. Okay, up this way. So let's see... Pump jacks. You need some pipe to make pump jacks. But let's take a look here at what this, uh, 121, 116. It'll get us probably through our first one or two blue science researches before we start to have a serious problem. Let's go ahead and make two of these. I have a bunch of walls in my pocket I don't really care to have, but that's fine. So there's one, there's two. We're going to need a bunch of pipe, which we are not currently making in a box anywhere, which might have to change. So here we go. Putting this on the electric grid might be a little annoying just because I like to try and make it on the grid, but see how well we can do. Did I line that up properly? Probably not. No, it needs to come down. You know what, there's an easier way to do this. We go to the bus block. Yeah, it needs to come down by one. There we go. From here, I can push the right button. There we go. I want this to be, again, on the grid. There. I know it's a little anal, but it makes me happy. All right, so now we have our first bit of oil. From here, I need... Oh, okay. Before we do anything else, we really need to get pipe being made, at least in a machine without me. The making pipe on my own is not, not going to happen. It's not going to be good. So let's run down. Again, we're going to add to our spaghetti. I need, I need some ammunition so I'm not constantly using the nanobots when I don't want. Grab a big bunch of that. There we go. Okay. And pipe just needs, here we go. So this into, actually I'm gonna leave extra space. So we will do fast, 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 fast. There, you are making straight pipe and you are making underground pipe. You get a box, 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 there we go. You get a box, you get that much. And you get a box for that much. And we're just going to start making pipe. What are you waiting on? Yeah, so this machine... Oh, that's right. So this needs 10 pipes in half a second. So this machine is way outclassed, but whatever. It's fine. Just going let it, to let it go. And that'll build us up some pipes because the next thing we have to do is go down here to the raw bus area and put in the piped materials, which is pretty much just going to be on the raw side. It's just going to be water and crude. If I remember correctly, on the raw side, that's really all you need because all of the oil products come from crude oil, water, and then things like iron plate or sulfur and whatnot, and that'll come from the other side of the bus. So in the interest of keeping things kind of organized, Actually, you know, I just had a, a thought. I'm going to go ahead and put the pipes probably here. I want to keep the clumps of four together. 
But I'm going to put pipes on the next one instead of leaving space for, say, an additional iron clumping. Because what that will do is reduce the amount of underground pipes going up and down the bus every time you need to split off. So you don't have to worry about running into a bunch of underground pipes, blowing them up, etc., etc. Let's see how far this can go. I'm going to go to here. Is that even? That's one, two, and one, two, three. No, okay. So we're just going to have to do it that way because that just makes me happy. And from here, i got to clear all this. And yeah, so we have all this stuff that can clear. At the very least, just this row of the bus. But I'm going to do this in between episodes because it's kind of tedious. So I'll run one for crude and one for water. And that will leave us an additional one for crude and one for water if for some reason we need you know, more if the through pipe throughput is not enough. So this will be our liquid section of the raw bus. So join me in the next episode and you'll see that done and where we go into the refining. But until then, thank you all very much for watching. My name is Enrotype and I'll see you next time.